Hello, my YouTube friends. Today, we are going to talk all about Christmas. I don't know about you guys, but my 2020 is definitely in need of some Christmas. So I'm gonna show you on today's video how to get you and your family ready for the Christmas and the Advent season and things that you could do to bring Christmas into your home and the real meaning of the season. So stay tuned. You've come too far to give up now. We've never been so close. Can't you see the way we let go? So I'm sure that you guys are starting to think about Christmas and like I said at the intro, we've had such a crazy year. It's been so just tumultuous and crazy and chaotic and whether or not you homeschool, um, I think we've all felt that this 2020 needs to be over and uh, we definitely need to end it on a good note with Christmas. So I'm gonna show you guys today how you can bring Christmas into your home without all of the, um, you know, without focusing on all of the Santa and presents and how to really bring in the meaning of Christmas into your home in a fun way that kids can really be engaged in the real meaning of Christmas. So I've got a few things here that I'm going to show you in hopes that, um, you will be inspired. Now, if this is the first time of you watching this, uh, my videos, welcome to my my YouTube channel, and I hope that you can uh, love this video and subscribe. Um, I also have an Instagram, Firewife Lawyer Mom uh, 911, that you can check out where I post a lot of stuff about homeschool. This is my ho first homeschool year, um, and I'm really excited that I get to take you guys along in my journey. And um, I am just so excited about uh, growing this community. So definitely hit like and subscribe and make a comment if there's any videos that you would like to see uh, as well in the future. Um, it's been a, a couple of weeks since I've been on here, but it's been very busy with Halloween and um, just all the stuff going on. And so I'm excited to get back to posting some more videos on homeschool organization, family life, work, mom life, um, and how to balance it all. So let's begin. My philosophy on Christmas is um, I really want to bring Christmas into my home uh, so that the kids can understand the real meaning of Christmas. And so a lot of times we can get caught up with the elf on the shelf and we can get caught up in presents and Santa and making lists. Uh, when in reality, uh, the real meaning of Christmas is Jesus. And, and so I'm going to give you guys some tools. I will be linking all of this stuff in the description box below uh, on how to get these items for your family. So don't, for, don't worry about that. You'll see it all in the description box. Um, so I'd like to start with um, how to get that, that Christmas spirit into your home in a tactile way. So a lot of times we decorate our homes with beautiful ornaments and um, decorations and nativity scenes and all these kinds of things. Um, but sometimes the kids, because they're you know either breakable items or whatnot, the kids can kind of feel a little detached from it. So I, I obviously love to decorate my home and I may do a separate video on how I decorate. Um, but I, uh, the, the big thing is, is that with a nativity scene, I like to provide my kids with an actual tactile nativity scene. And this is something that I've used in my home for a really long time. Um, it is from the brand Little People, and it is a nativity scene um, that the kids can play with. So what I do is in my homeschool room, or you could do this in your playroom, set up a nativity scene. Now, what I love about the Little People is it not only comes with uh, Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus, but it also comes with um, all of the little animals and the little characters. So it has the camel, it has um, the three wise men, um, it has the sheep, it has all the stuff that you need. And what I love is it gives the children an opportunity to kind of play with the with the nativity, kind of make it hands on for them so that they kind of feel that it's a real thing. This is what we're celebrating. We're celebrating the nativity of our Lord. And so um, I really, really love this little people set and you can get it on Amazon. I will link uh, the link on the description box, but definitely consider getting this nativity scene or any other kind of play nativity scene because it really brings that Christmas alive for them. Um, and I just, I really love it and we've had it for a long time. 
Um, the second thing I like to do is I have what's called the manger project and we don't in our family we don't do elf on the shelf I just don't really feel that there's a lot of value to it I don't feel like it helps them to really focus on the season um, but I wanted to find a way for them to you know kind of understand what they're doing during this time and you know as a family we believe in and in our faith we believe that during the Christmas season we are preparing our hearts for the coming of the Lord okay and so this manger project really go coincides with that so what I do is this is our manger and I basically just get a brown um, jewelry box and I tear off the top of it and I have the kids paint it I have them pick like something to decorate it we picked a an ornament that was like a wooden ornament of the nativity scene. Um, the kids wrote Advent here. And basically this is where baby Jesus is going to be uh, resting in. And so what I do is I take dried spaghetti and those are representing the straws that go in baby Jesus's manger. And so what, it, what we do is when uh, the children are behaving or they're doing something kind, they're being good listeners, they're being kind to their siblings, link they get to put a straw inside the manger. And what that does is every straw that they put in is making baby Jesus more comfortable for when he comes on Christmas day. And so the kids really love this because they're able to really make the connection that we are preparing our hearts for this amazing, beautiful day and for the coming of our savior and that our hearts need to be prepared with the kind things that we do that helps baby Jesus be more comfortable in his manger. And so we are laying these straws for the baby and it's just a wonderful project. I recommend it hundred percent. If they do something unkind, we take a, 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 a straw off. And so then we're making Jesus much more uncomfortable. And so um, this is a wonderful tradition that we have been doing for many years. I started with my first one and it's just continued on and my kids just absolutely love it. And we bring it around the first week of Advent and when Christmas day actually comes, uh, what I'll do is I'll take the baby Jesus, most likely I'll take the one from the little people or I'll bring my own and he'll appear there on Christmas day and they just love on Christmas day to see how all of their kind deeds and their straws are making Jesus comfortable in his manger so they really absolutely love this so the next thing that I do um is we do a Jesse tree so this um, tree right here um, is how we use our Jesse tree. So the Jesse tree is another amazing option for celebrating the Advent season. Uh, the way that uh, what the Jesse tree is, is that um, dur uh, since the Old Testament, it is known that Jesus came from the tree of Jesse, from the line of Jesse in the Bible. And so uh, what this Jesse tree does is allows you to go through scripture and see the connections that happened in the Old Testament that led up to the birth of Jesus. Because when um, Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, God already had a plan to save us. He already had our salvation love story planned. And so uh, what the Jesse tree does is it helps us to go through scripture um, in a beautiful way so that we can see how um, all of the prophets that came before Jesus that would announce what was to be coming um, and how uh, Jesus came from this line of Jesse. And so what I use for that there is a great program um, that has uh, it's called a it's called a Jesse Tree Countdown to Chris to Christmas, and what it does is um, it goes through uh, several Bible passages, and you start at literally at the beginning. You start in Genesis, and it talks about. Um, you know, Jesus is the word of God through whom all things were created. The earth symbolizes, so it has different symbols, which is really cool. Reminds us that everything was created through Jesus to bring honor and glory to him. So each of the ornaments, each of the symbols are little stickers that you put onto ornaments. And so this is the bag of ornaments. Um, and this is the uh, first one that you would get. So what we do is it has all of the Bible passages in the back of the sticker. Um, and these are these little, this all comes with the set. And these are little wooden ornaments and you paste the stickers on the front and the back. Now we've already pasted them all because we've done this several years. Um, 
But what's great is that every time you read um, a passage for the Jesse tree, you put an ornament on the tree. And so the kids really love it. Um, it goes all the way from the, you start at the first day of Advent and it takes you all the way to Christmas day. And it has um, all of the different, you know, uh, Bible passages. And it's, it's really just a beautiful way. Um, see here, this one is the cup. Um, this one is uh, the tongs. And then it'll give you, I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera, but it gives you the um, the dates. Uh, so when you're supposed to read each of the chapters of the Bible and the different um, Bible verses. Um, but it is really a beautiful uh, depiction. I definitely recommend this for once your kids are probably maybe second grade and up. But if you have younger siblings, bring them along too. Because, um, you know, it, it's good. I always say that like what I do for my older one, my younger one always tags along, even though mine is, is she's only six years old, um, but she's gonna grasp something. And this is just a beautiful family thing. What we do is we do it right uh, before dinner time. We read our, um, our Jesse Tree passages. And so all you're gonna need is here, um, and in the brochure, if you have older kids, they can also read the passages as well. Um, and so uh, this is an awesome way for you to uh, to really celebrate the real meaning of Christmas. Um, and so all you would really need to do is to buy, I bought this tree at the dollar spot in Target maybe three years ago. Um, and so you can just buy any fake uh, little Christmas tree and you could use the ornaments for that. Um, and I will link in the description box below where I got this as well. Um, another great one, another great uh, Advent preparation is this one. This one is a Catholic based, um, a Catholic based devotional, but it can be used for all Christian families as well. And it talks about the, um, I don't know if it's Catholic actually, it might just be a Christian um, based program, but it's really beautiful. It's called Advent and Christmas Reflections for Families. And it says, welcome baby Jesus. And this is a great, it has every, you know, a week of Advent and you can go through and it has a think. So it has like a little devotional reflection and then it has a prayer that you can pray together and it has an act. So some kind of act that they're going to be doing that day uh, that focuses on whatever you were reading. Um, and it also does a great job of explaining the different candles of the Advent wreath and what the colors mean um, and all of that. And it also talks about different symbols that we use um, in during Christmas and why we use them and what they actually mean. So this is again, a beautiful program. Again, it's very cheap. It's probably, I think it's either under $3 or under $2 for just this brochure and you can get it on Amazon and it will really bring Advent to life and Christmas to life for your families. Um, again, this is all stuff that we do to bring that Advent season alive for our kids. Um, another thing that's great as well is to get them coloring books. Um, we have, you know, so we go to restaurants a lot and sometimes we need stuff for them to do or if, you know, they just wanna sit and color in an afternoon. Um, these are some great ones. This one's called The Nativity, a Christmas Advent Calendar Coloring Book for Kids. And it has um, different, um, just different Bible verses that have to do with Christmas along with some pictures. And it actually has each day of Advent that they can color. Um, and you could even take the pages and make a little book out of it so that they could see what they did throughout the year. So that's a, uh, throughout the, the Advent season. Um, this is another one that's awesome too. It's called Praying for Christmas. And it's a children's Advent wreath devotion. Um, and this one is great for when you are, if you are doing an Advent wreath, uh, you can go through each week of the um, of the Advent season, and it also has um, you know a different Bible verse to say and what to say when you're lighting each candle on each of the weeks. Um, so this is awesome too, and I will link it in the description box as well. Um, one thing that I recommend getting, of course, like I just talked about is an advent wreath and this is my advent wreath now advent wreaths come in different types and shapes and sizes some of them come with the actual wreath that's like a green um ring around the candles i like this one because it's kind of compact 
um, and I don't have a lot of space where I live now. So um, this is a great one because it just has the holders for each of the candles and it has the nativity in the front and I really love it. Um, and we do uh, get our purple and pink candles and we, we count, um, I'm sorry, we celebrate the, the Advent wreath and we light them every Sunday. Uh, so definitely I recommend getting an Advent wreath. Um, some of the other things that you could do is I get the, um, you know, I get little ca countdown um, to Christmas calendars. This is a great one um, where the kids can actually take the little candy cane and they put it in each day and they can count down to um, the Christmas season. Now, uh, we in our house, another thing that we do is on Christmas day, we actually get a cake for Jesus, a happy birthday cake for Jesus. I recommend that so much. I think a lot of times um, because of all the presents and family coming and all the things going on, we forget about whose birthday we're celebrating. And I think getting a birthday cake is an awesome uh, way for, for you to be able to bring Jesus back into that celebration. And what we do is I literally go to the supermarket, I order a cake, just like I would do for one of my children's birthdays. I have the attendant that's there, write happy birthday Jesus, we buy candles. Um, you can also make your own cake uh, as well, which is really awesome. Um, we make Christmas cookies the night before Christmas for Santa. Uh, so we do do those kinds of things. Um, but Santa's not the main focus of our Christmas. And what I like to do also, that's another idea that you have, is we give our children, um, you know, most of the gifts that we give them are from us and we tell them they're from us. We do give, uh, we do have some gifts that come from Santa, but we don't want the majority and the bulk of the gifts come from Santa. Um, we want to make sure that they understand that that's not the big focus. Um, even though the story of St. Nicholas is a beautiful one, which I definitely recommend that you look up some books and I'll probably link some below on St. Nicholas that you could read. Um, that really reflect on the story of what St. Nicholas did in his life. Um, but I definitely recommend that you try as much as you can to focus, especially this year with the year that we've had on the real meaning of Christmas. All right, everyone. So that's the, those are the things and the traditions that we use. Let me know if there's something that you do, um, for Christmas that would bring Jesus into uh, and the season into your home. Um, definitely would, would love to hear about it. Make the comment below on, on this video so that I can see what you guys do. I'm really clear is to maybe get some ideas from you all as well. All right, everyone. Well, listen, if you like these videos, definitely hit the subscribe and the like button. I'd love for you to be part of my first year homeschool journey. And don't forget to, uh, to also follow me on Instagram. I have a lot of ideas for what I do during my homeschool on the day to day. And uh, I hope to see you all soon. God bless you and may you have a wonderful Christmas season.